Let's take a moment to examine the student experience. What does an estimistry experience look like when we consider the student's perspective? Estimistry experiences always begin with a question, such as how many objects are in the container and a picture like this. Eventually, some clues will appear one at a time, which will provide students with opportunities to connect mathematical concepts as they continue to return to estimation. Along the way, students will use math concepts to eliminate possible numbers, and they will repeatedly estimate. In the end, the clues will not eliminate all of the answer choices. There will be two or three reasonable numbers remaining after the final clue and the students will arrive at a final estimate. Before we look into further details of estimistries, let's take a close look at what the students will be doing during the estimistry experience. Students across the classroom begin by writing. Let's zoom in on two students who are working together. They're individually considering the question, how many objects are in the container? Each student writes their estimate, then they tell each other two things. First, what number they chose for their estimate, and second, why they chose that number. For example, I think there are 22 objects in the container because, and here comes the rich reasoning. Then the second student tells what number they chose and they explain why. I think there are 36 objects in the container because, and here comes some more rich reasoning. If you've used estimistries, you know that at this point the experience is just beginning. And conversations just like this will take place after each clue appears. And those conversations will become increasingly richer and deeper when there are combinations of clues to consider. But notice that from the very beginning the tone is set. Students are already estimating, reasoning, and sharing their thinking with each other. Now let's zoom in on a single student to examine their experience as the clues begin to appear. The student has written 22. They've shared their estimate, and most importantly, they've shared their reasoning. Then the first clue appears. The number is between 30 and 75. Let's consider what happens in this moment because there are so many learning opportunities in place. The student considers the clue, thinks about their original estimate, sees the image again with new insight, can return to their reasoning, has heard the reasoning of someone else, and has an opportunity to iterate their own thinking. In addition, the student has an opportunity to annotate. The number is between 30 and 75. And then with all of this information in mind, has the opportunity to return to estimation again. This entire process repeats every time a clue appears, and then eventually, after several discussions filled with rich reasoning and much to consider, the students reach the final clue. While they've been estimating independently, they've also been discussing the concepts along the way and have been comparing the annotations based on their understanding of the concepts. In this case, the final clue leaves them with two possibilities, which are 47 and 67, and the students each write down and discuss their final estimate, sharing their reasoning with each other. Which leads to the reveal. This is the conclusion of the estimistry, and it's also the moment in which students will find out the answer to the original question, which was how many objects are in the container. As the teacher, when you know your class is ready, you click to show the actual number of objects in the container. Here it is, 47 objects. In this moment, you should be prepared to hear cheering in your classroom, and you might also hear your students asking for another estimistry. Consider all that the students have been doing throughout the experience. They have been estimating, writing, reasoning, explaining their reasoning to others. They've also been iterating their thinking, listening to someone else's perspective, considering the ideas of others, comparing their ideas to new information, defending their thinking, and connecting mathematical ideas. The student celebration at the end of the estimistry isn't just about finding a correct answer, but it's also a celebration of all that they have accomplished to reach that point. This is a very rich experience and it allows the students to truly shine. And remember, this is just a partial list of what the students are doing. Estimistries truly provide a powerful classroom learning experience.